the king of kings. The is the first word of this verse, so a T is placed by the gold crown king at the top of the first six for God, with the capital K, and the silver crown king at the top of the second six for the lowercase king for the earthly kings to think king of kings. And Lord of Lords is the first Timothy icon baby with the gold crown that you can think of as Jesus as a baby with a capital L for Lord. With the sideline of the six, you can think of making an L for the L in Lord and the bottom of the six making an O for the O in Lord. And the second first Timothy icon baby with the silver crown that you can think of as men on this earth being Lord's. With the sideline of the six, you can think of making an L, again, for the L in Lords, and the bottom of the six making an O for the O in Lords. So it will go, Lord of Lords. Who only hath immortality. You can think of the person in the middle of the last six as God for who, and also the bottom of the six as making an O shape for only, and the arrow going up for the only one with immortality. 1 Corinthians 15 said that God is going to give immortality to those who are in him when he comes back to wake up the dead and take all the righteous with him to heaven. According to the Bible, now we can see that the dead are corruptible, decayed and decomposed, having no thought or emotion, participating in nothing on earth and not living forever and ever until Jesus returns. This pretty much nullifies the idea that the dead have anything to do with the spirit world. 1 Timothy 6, 15 and 16 A royal blue one is made on the silver king, and a five is made on the top of the silver crown, and around the First Timothy icon's baby face, for verse 15. A royal blue one is made on the top of the arrow for immortality, and a royal blue six is made on the bottom of the six representing the O for who only, to remember verse 16.